The Phillies game against the Washington Nationals on August 9th, 2023 will be one for the history books. So many things happen in this game and I will be talking about them in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and let's talk about this historic game. Michael Lorenzen throwing the 14th no-hitter in Phillies history is obviously historic, but let's talk about the other historic events that happened earlier in the game. The first one was by new Phillies addition Weston Wilson. Wilson to this point was a career minor leaguer never seeing an MLB field until the age of 28. He made his debut for the Phillies in this game and did not disappoint. In his first at bat he demolished a home run to left field to capitalize on the Phillies lead. His first ever major league at bat was a home run, what a special moment for him and his family who were there in attendance watching him. Also in this game he added two walks and a stolen base in his only other two plate appearances. This debut set Wes Wilson up to get more playing time and it could even alter his career path. Instead of staying down in the minors where he has hit pretty well in the past, he could become a mainstay in the majors. Another thing that was historic in this game was a milestone achieved by Nick Castellanos. Nick went into the game with 198 career home runs and with his family in attendance, he smacked two home runs to bring his total to 200. 200 home runs is an outstanding achievement for any player, but especially for Castellanos who came off one of the worst years of his career last year. Now to the part that everyone has been waiting for, Michael Lorenzen's no-hitter. This was the second no-hitter by the Phillies I have witnessed, the first one being Cole Hamill's no-no back in 2015. This performance by Lorenzen was one that I have not seen in quite some time, and there were so many storylines in this game. The first being that this was the first game he has pitched at Citizens Bank Park for the Phillies, so the crowd was behind him the whole night. His mother, wife, and child were a part of that crowd making the night even more meaningful for him. Their reaction to his no-hitter was priceless. The biggest storyline that is getting overlooked was Lorenzen's pitch count. In today's game, it is somewhat rare when a pitcher throws 100 plus pitches. Michael Lorenzen in this game was at 100 pitches at the end of the 7th inning. I couldn't believe Rob Thompson let him go out for the 8th, let alone the 9th, judging from past experience. He ended the game with 124 pitches, completing the no-hitter. I also didn't mention that he had 4 walks in this game, meaning he wasn't fully dominant over this Nats lineup, which makes the no-hitter even more unique. This game will be remembered as one of the greater games in Philly's history, not just because of the no-hitter, but because of all the other historic moments and storylines that made up this game. It was one of my favorite games as a Phillies fan, and it's going to be hard to top that. This is what makes Philly sports so special. These players have carved their names in Philly's history, and this historic game will never be forgotten. Thank you guys for watching the video and staying all the way to the end. If you stayed this far and you enjoyed the video, drop a like so I know you want to see more of this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't yet so you can stay up to date with all things Philly sports. If you just subscribed, leave a comment saying you did, and I will reply back thanking you for the support. Let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.